And we're back to learning JavaScript using Exorcism. It's the gigasecond exercise, you can find it right here. It's a quick one. We need to determine the date and time one gigasecond after a certain date. And here's also an example. So if you were born January 24th, 2015 at, what is it, 10 p.m., it should result in October 2nd, 2046 at this given time. So a gigasecond is 1000 million seconds, which is which is a one with a nine zeros. Let us dive right in. Read through it yourself, try to solve it yourself, and if you get stuck, then refer to my solution. Here's once again the example, and we're going to use the function type date. So read through this in the web docs that's linked. You can find it right here as a constructor. This is what we need. So we need the new date. But first, let me define a parameter. I'll simply call that date. So this is the date that will be passed to our function. And afterwards, we'll use the new function type of date. And inside we want to use the parameter that we've just defined, which is called date. Inside another function, let's call this number. And we want to find the moment after it, so one gigasecond later, which is one with nine zeros, so we can write one E9. So not 10 E9, one E9. Be careful, if you run it now, it's going to result in errors. So even though the first test or one of these tests is passed, the other ones aren't. You can see right here in test two, we've got a totally different date, which is received compared to the expected one. We know that we have to go further because all of these received ones are earlier than the expected ones. And the reason why is, you can see the right here, date objects encapsulate an integral number that represents milliseconds. So in simple terms, we'll have to use our gigaseconds in milliseconds, you could say. Which is 1e9 times 1000, so a millisecond is to the power of minus 3, so this would be the exponent, and therefore we'll have to have 1 e12 instead of 1 e9, and all of the tests they will run smoothly. And we've passed this gigasecond exercise on exorcism. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.